I like go under, but I, I, mm, I don't know what happened. Good morning, good afternoon. Whenever you're watching this, hello. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna give you guys another little story time because I have some ideas, but I just can't do them right now. So I'm gonna give you another story time. So here we are, back in my room. <laughs> Let's just get right into it. So my story time today, it was about, how old am I? This was in sixth grade, so this was like six, seven years ago. So I'm gonna say this was about like six years ago. I can't remember the year, but every year for like a while, we don't do it anymore, we kind of stopped, but for a while, every year for like my, my spring break, we would leave for a week and we would drive to Texas with our motorhome. We would go to Port Aransas. It's like, it's kind of like a small little town. It's really cute, I actually love it there. In Texas, <coughs> Anyway, there's an ocean, you know, if you don't, um, take geography. And we would go, it would take about two days to drive down there. We'd get there, you know, set up our camp, and I would immediately change into my swimsuit, and I would go to the pool first, because pools are just so fun. Like, I don't care how old I get, I will always just go to the pool, you know? Pools are, like, a different kind of fun. That's besides the point. Um, so, like, we're there for a whole week. We have campground pool in an ocean in a little town to maybe do some shopping in. So, this one year, we get there, go to the pool, do my normal thing. My cousin is there this year. We spend, like, our day, first day there, like, calm, easy. Then the next day, my dad and her dad would... They both have Jeeps, and so we would take our Jeeps to the ocean. So basically what we did was we took our Jeeps, and we were, we're going. This is like the usual thing, you know. My mom has a margarita maker, so she'd make the adults margaritas. And me and my cousin would take our um, body boards and go in the ocean. Because, you know, the, wow, the waves in Texas are not surfing material. I've never surfed a day in my life, so that really doesn't matter for me. This day was not a good one well it wasn't good for me and my cousin you know we get there we set up our little little camp with our jeeps we have our music playing parents have their alcohol kids have their water and soda we're living large you know we take our body boards we you know we put sunscreen on because skin is important we take our body boards we wrap it to our ankle we run in and now the thing with this ocean okay there's a Okay, it's every ocean, but this one was definitely more jellyfishy. Don't think that's a word, but we're gonna pretend it is. So there were like man of war jellyfish and like the regular pink jellyfish. I don't know what those are called. <laughs> and then clear jellyfish that look like rocks, but and they're clear. And like you go to pick it up because you think it's a rock and it's squishy. Yeah, don't touch it. It's a jellyfish. I don't know if it's poisonous. I don't know if it stings you. But it's not a rock. It's not a clear rock. It is a jellyfish. There are such things as clear rocks. Look it up. Anyway, back to the story. So me and my cousin were in the ocean. She's over here and I'm over here. We're bodyboarding, you know, having a good time. And then my dad comes and joins us. So basically, we're like sitting on our bodyboards. We're talking to my dad. He starts talking to us about like schools of fish. Like the little itty bitty, like the little tiny fishies that like, you know, are like together, you know, school of fish. <laughs> As he's talking about it, like she feels like a weird feeling like on her legs. She's like, oh my god, I think my little fishies are biting me. And he was like, oh, what? L like what? And he looks down and she's like, oh, there's a jellyfish on your leg. And so she starts screaming because she just got stung by a jellyfish. She like runs out and she's like, she has like a big old red thing right on her leg where she got stung and then give or take a few hours and we're back in the water she's like she's gotten healed you know like she's good it's okay <coughs> she's okay we get back into the water okay and it's honestly so fun like beaches i wish i lived by one but i live nowhere near one which is really disappointing we're on our body boards again she's fine i'm fine at right now we went under the wave like under the water and it's fine the wave 
this particular wave was not on my side. This was like, it was a big one. It wasn't, you know, like a big surfing wave, but it was a big wave for the Texas shore. And I like go under, but I, I, mm, I don't know what happened. As I go under the wave, like it hits me in a different type of way. And so it rolls me under the wave. This is when I thought I was going to die. I was like, okay, this is, <laughs> this is how I go. Cool fine you know when you roll under the water you're in panic and you don't know where like the surface is like you don't know where you are you don't know what's happening like you can't see because first of all your eyes are closed and then next thing I know I hit my head I just like I slam my face on the ground and I'm not even shitting you right now I heard a crack in my nose mm -hmm. I heard a crack I get out of the water. I find the surface. Um, I'm like, I start to cry because it hurts. I'm bleeding. And my dad and my aunt come over. I don't know where my mom is. I'm like crying. I'm like, oh my God, I think I broke my nose. And my aunt's like, no, 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 honey. Like, I think you're fine. Just go sit down. And mom's like, okay, should I go to a hospital? Like, we should probably go to a hospital, you know, being the dramatic mom that she is. I'm like, no, mom, I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay, okay? Dad says I'm good, my aunt says I'm good. We're good, okay? We're good. And um, the next day, it's just like, it's it's just not good. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I broke my nose. Like, I like I have a, I had a strong feeling that I broke my nose. So, you know, it's like that for like three weeks, you know? Oh yeah, okay, so that's like the end of the trip. We go back, blah, blah, blah. So, it's about four years after the fact. And me, my dad, and my mom are at the airport going somewhere and my dad looks at me and he's like your nose isn't straight i look at him and i'm like hmm what did you just say and he was like yeah you like your nose like look at me straight on like your nose is not straight and i look at him and i'm like my nose isn't straight as in i broke it and i'm like you know dad remember that year when i rolled under the water in Texas and I told you I broke my nose well look at that I broke my nose and now my nose is crooked that's the story of how I broke my nose and basically no one knew that I broke my nose so that's really good for me I'm not gonna show it to you if you look at me head-on and you really stare at my nose it's just not straight anyway so that's the end of the story I really hope you enjoyed this video I hope you laughed if you clicked off and you're not watching this um sorry um because i actually love that story that's one story that i actually do love telling because it's funny to me i will see you next time uh-huh